The battle with the Wabash River brings volunteers into the fight to keep the levees holding. The Wabash hit 27 feet today in Vincennes, Indiana. It's expected to keep rising through tomorrow. Lawrence County, Illinois, once again finds it is in the path of a potentially devastating flood. In tonight's top story, News 10's Mike Grant reports a big effort is underway to try and keep the area from being hit with another big flood. Volunteers wrestle sandbags into a boat along the Lawrence Allison levee. The bags are being hauled to trouble spots further downstream. Officials say despite the pressure the Wabash is putting on the flood protection system, they are keeping up. We're holding their own right now. If the amber oil would, would crest and uh, take some pressure off us here, I think we would stay in this. But there's several places where the water is coming over the levee. There is no places that the levee is failing. Students from nearby high schools pitched in to fill and handle the sandbags. They kept pushing despite the heavy, grueling work. I just thought it was a great opportunity to come out here and give myself to help others in my community. Despite the sandbagging efforts, the river's creating plenty of worries here. Officials had to build a hasty dike across a small road under the Memorial Bridge to hold back the water. Further south, the Cannonball Bridge is closed completely until the floodwaters go down. Lawrence County's already been declared a disaster area by the governor. Folks here are just hoping that these efforts will keep that disaster to a minimum. It is a fight, you know, history says we haven't held a 27 foot river, but uh, you know, with a lot of cooperation, a lot of effort, and a lot of help, you know, I think we're further along than what we've ever been at this point. So, you know, I, I, I like our chances right now. Chances that may have to hold out for as long as a week before the Wabash drops off the levee and gives this area some breathing room. In Lawrence County, Illinois, I'm Mike Grant, News 10. The Wabash is expected to crest this weekend at 27.5 feet.